John 4:23 But the hour is coming and it is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the Father seeketh such to worship him True Worship Christian Center The Church with the Difference So on the year for the treatment Kaula doctor Our mother used to visit the doctor for treatments then the pain is less, she does she more, then the chief was also. And the pains would go and then again recur. Until they became part and parcel of her daily life. And her tummy began growing up abnormally. And she could not relieve herself. Yet she was eating every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When uh, she was going through the pains, uh, and she was eating just like all of us. However, she could not uh, relieve herself. And how long, Mama, did it take? She would go for a month without visiting the ablation. Yet she was eating every day. Very strange, yeah. And she assumed that that's how she was made. Until the pain is like Until the pains made sure that when she is hungry, she could not even balance herself. That's what our mother went through, and that's what led her to the church. Okay. Before Did you visit the doctor when you began experiencing the growth of your abdomen? Uh, and she did not. She, she first visited the doctor about the tummy when she was already the member here. The very same week she came to church, she also thought of going to the doctor. And then doctor and the doctor saw the growth in the intestines. And then he diagnosed that there was a huge possibility that the intestine may burst. So I'm passing up this as to go to the toilet. He, pre he prescribed a medication that would assist her to go to the help room. Mara, I don't want to. But the medication still could not assist. So when I'm when I'm sure money is zero, I could be sure. Now you know we limit it. And people were wondering when are you giving birth because they were uh, they assumed that she was pregnant. And as much as we were asked. And it was so obvious she really looked pregnant. Now the symptoms is all there. And she was also experiencing the symptoms of pregnancy. Now She was worried because she was not pregnant. And when she came here, she saw Pastor Mapupa who inquired when is she going to see the doctor? And she, she said, there's no need because there's nothing wrong with me. But the, doctor, uh, but the pastor said, go and see your doctor. She had no option but to go to the doctor and what happened is what she already explained. And she came to church on a Tuesday. And uh, we were talking about the water ministry and she decided to buy the water. Glory to Jesus. She started consuming the water while she was still in the church. The very same week, oh, yeah, yeah. she was able to go. Madi ono kambu andine anointing water ya pano. Yebwa sekretari wa kwa mba yone. Ndiya neya. Wabu uchipinga chingafani basa induni. 
She had lost count. So if they even assumed that she was pregnant, it, even she, it means she may have even gone more than nine months without going to the toilet. <laughs> So Madia and Sangaman. Zanda yes, so much. There is grace in that water. There is healing in that water. No, she was just quenching her thirst. It, she, it, what do I have to what do I have to lose? It didn't even occur to her. For her it was just passing time anyway. Uh, what if the pastor realizes that I'm not drinking water? Let me just drink and let uh, it go. Plus, my apostle. Plus, the, uh, plus, she's the daughter to the apostle. What was she doing in the shmau? The apostle used to visit her workplace. And he would always say, don't you need the grace that I have? And she said, oh, I'm happy where I am. Thank you, man of God. And, and he, he, he would always insist you don't have come and it, it's only a family that realized that there must be a divine reason why he is inviting her to the church oh she must always serve the best dinners in the spirit and she was used to it. This is our new problem. So far, as young boys learn to do stuff. Ah, wow. So, wow, Kola Maginya. I see, Ezo. So, what is on Gorahara? And then, says Laka Vegene, Yenda Nomad in the Boy Kono Yandunituku. And that very same week, when she drank the holy water and she was able to relieve herself for the first time after a very long time, that Rwanda Laurent Kuhn. And then she had a dream where she was served again by the evil chefs. And she woke up that very moment. She remembered that the, the apostle said, immediately you are fed food in the spirit. You must wake up and cancel that which you have eaten. And she did exactly that. The following day, she went to sleep. And she had a dream where she was vomiting. Jesus. And it was a very serious vomiting. And when she woke up, surely she looked around, there were no vomits. Then she asked herself, what was happening? And she called the apostle. And she said, I don't understand the dream I had last night. Very and the apostle said, you were delivered in the spirit. Glory to Jesus. So, oh, you can get scared. Church is a zip. Oh, never zip, but today, everything. That very day when she was told she was delivered in the spirit. Oh, her clothes were fitting. Glory to Jesus. It's the God we serve. Are the pain still recurring? And she goes the entire day without eating. There's no problem. Glory to Jesus. To those who are going through the West, or even maybe less than what you've gone through, what would be your message of advice? You must not undermine that which happens in this church. Our mother is a living example that there is divine intervention in this church in the name of Jesus. She never thought she would outlive this year again. Surely there were, there were even loyal because the insurance.
Kari Vandarisa Zwanda.